everyone. My name is Madeline and I'm an educator at the Ottawa Art Gallery. In this video, I'll be guiding you through a workshop created by the artist Barry Apes called Remapping Place. This workshop is a part of a lesson plan in our book called Contemporary Indigenous Arts in the Classroom. You can find a PDF version of this book by clicking on the link in the description below. Ace is inspired by a broad range of influences when it comes to his art, from his great aunt to his grandmother to Andy Warhol. Commenting on social issues faced by Indigenous peoples today, his work juxtaposes historical photographs, painting, digital technology, and traditional Anishinaabe techniques and materials such as beadwork and porcupine quill work. This workshop delves into the politics of map making and how it has encouraged and strengthened colonialism. With Anishinaabe in the Hood, the work that inspired this workshop, Ace reclaims a classroom map of North America by painting over it with his own designs and altering it. You can find an image of this work on page 31 of the book. It'll be very useful for you to have this on hand later on. If you'd like to see Barry talk about his practice and remapping place the workshop, you can click on the link here and then we'll move on forward with the rest of the workshop. As Barry described in the video, during this workshop, you'll learn about the role of maps and the erasure of Indigenous peoples in Canada's colonial history. You'll deconstruct maps of where you live, or a place that has meaning to you, and recreate it using symbols from your own cultural heritage and lived experiences. I hope that through this exercise, you'll learn about the importance of continually questioning and challenging the established authority of historical knowledge. You'll need the following materials for the workshop. A large piece of paper or cardboard, maps of your region or a place that means something to you, scissors, glue, paint, paintbrushes, markers, and a pencil. You may also want to have an image of Barry Ace's Anishinaabek in the hood on hand, which can be found on page 31 of our book. Here are some questions to get your brain going. If you need to pause in the video to reflect on these, you can do that now. Here are a few things that could inspire your artwork. Home, travel, belonging, environment, family history, accessibility, multiculturalism, safety, community, immigration. It can be any of those or anything else you can think of. Once you've picked a theme, think about the message you're trying to convey. What can you do to make this message stand out? I have chosen the theme of home and two places that represent that for me. You'll see that my maps are hand-drawn. I didn't actually have any maps on hand, so I just traced some stuff from the internet. I've also added some materials that I didn't list, because you can really use anything for this. It's a bit of a mixed media project. Because I like working with embroidery thread, I decided to add some of that. Really use whatever you have on hand or whatever you like to work with. Once you're happy with the first layer of your artwork, you can start adding more details. I've decided to add some dots and we'll see where those take us. Art can be a power for social change and make us question our beliefs and our actions. By referencing indigenous ways of life, popular culture, and the confluence between the historical and contemporary, Barry's art connects with people from diverse cultural heritages. We hope that analyzing his work made you think about your community and how we interact with each other in our day to day. We'd love it if you shared your Remapping Place artwork with us on social media with the hashtag OAGFromHome. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new. 
and I'll see you next time.